Hey what's up guys this is Kaushik and today I'm back with a brand new video where I'm going to show you how to install Tract in Kodi. Now at this point of time you might be thinking what the hell is Tract right. So let me tell you this say you have installed Kodi in a couple of devices you are using Exodus to watch maybe TV series or movies and at some point of time you want to know okay did I complete this particular episode from this season or not so there will be a little confusion right so how about having both the devices in sync or at least multiple devices in sync about all the shows that you have watched it, it automatically knows okay you have covered maybe season 4 episode 11 or whatever and it will present you with a nice little green tick mark saying you have watched it already so you can next time without any confusion you can just go to uh, maybe episode 12 directly right so this is something that track does all right so now that it is clear let's see how to get it installed the first thing that you need to do here is go to Kodi I'm hoping it is already open and then go to settings so your theme might be a little different for Kodi and the way it is looking here at my video it might be a little different but remember these menu items and that should take you through okay so the first thing we need to do is going to settings and then once you are in settings go to add-ons in add-ons go to install from repository once you are inside that select Kodi add-on repository then scroll down a little bit to find this item which says program add-ons and once you are in program add-ons basically you need to scroll down all the way until you see these two entries one is tracked and the other one is tracked.tv list manager so first one click on that and say install it will take a moment to install tract so as you can see tract is now installed we'll now quickly install tract.tv list manager as well So as you can see it is saying tracked.tv list manager installed now your pa your job is half done at this point of time okay so what you need to do next is go to tracked inside that go to configure a few things that you need to know here first is synchronization that we talked about so much so it automatically basically does the synchronization as you can see add new movies to track collection remove deleted movies from track collection add watched movies so this is important this is the primary reason basically i why i use tracked and there are a lot of other features as well same goes for the tv episodes as well now there is another interesting feature is every time you complete a episode uh track basically asks you to rate the episode like how did you like it uh, from 0 to 10 so if you want to do that you can basically keep it enabled by default it is enabled otherwise you can just say i don't want to participate in this so you can just uncheck this one okay rate movies similarly if you don't want to participate but it is it is nice actually it takes just a couple of seconds basically to rate it so i'm fine with that providing my own rating so that's that slash activate and in case it is asking for user ID and password and of course you probably won't have a tracked account just feel free to create it it is free so once you are there you just have to hit the tracked.tv slash activate and you can get this pin from this screen how can if you al already dismissed it earlier you can go to tract and say configure and then go to general and say how do i authorize the tract add-on to access my tract.tv account once you click on that it basically will give you uh, the pin number that you want 
to enter here so I'll quickly enter that value here which says uh, 9 e b 4 e 9 a 1 continue so it is asking if you want to add track to your Kodi I will say yes and that's basically it so now it is it is connected to track your device is now connected and will automatically refresh in a few seconds so that's one part of it okay now next thing you want to do here is go to here configure and then username and password you basically have to put the username and password that of your track.tv account that you just created okay so enter that once you are done just select ok and here ok again and that should be it so i'll do it in a moment and we'll tell you what to do next okay so let me enter the credential all right so now that we have installed tracked and track tv list manager and also configured it let's show you how you can enable it from kodi as well so go back go to kodi go back all the way to your home screen and then start exodus this is my exodus as you can see in the header and then here again go one level up where you can see movies tv shows and all those go to tools once you are in tools here basically you need to go to accounts there you have it tracked authorization once you click on that it again gives you that new password or pin code to activate it so again similar process go for the second time to track.tv slash activate now you have to enter this pin 591 edc3d so for you it will be something else of course uh, please feel free to do it so i'll do it 591 edc3d and i'll say continue it is asking allow exodus to use your account i would say yes please do that and that's pretty much it so that's all for the settings part of it now if you click ok and then i will quickly go back to say movies people watching as you can see now this is actually coming from tracked for example i have not seen this particular movie uh, say this one so if i long press the enter button now you see watched in tracked so you can possibly uh, you know if it is not already listed here or you have watched it in the cinema hall and just want to have that tick in place just to make sure that you are tracking the status currently so you can quickly go and do that for example uh, maybe this one say so I will say watched in tracked and it will refresh the screen and after some time you will have a tick mark over there if I go down a little bit then you can see it is it is ticked so now it will be synced across all your devices and you will know exactly uh, what movies you have watched it not, need not have to be uh, you have to watch in Exodus to make this thing updated you can manually update it as well just I showed you so that's pretty much how you sync uh, your watch status of movies and TV shows across devices and I hope you guys liked it in case you did and it is helpful please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also give it a thumbs up also don't forget to share it with your friends because they also might need it uh, this might be helpful for them as well so why not share it okay so thank you for all your love and support that's all for this video we'll be back soon